Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to crop. Let's begin by selecting the clip on the timeline, and then clicking the Crop button on the toolbar. In the pop-up, you can drag the corner or side handles to adjust the crop. To reposition your crop, simply drag the rectangle to a new position. Now, if this is all you want to do, you could just hit OK to complete the crop. This looks good, but I'm going to undo this and show you how to do a crop with a different aspect ratio for social media or something like that. Once again, I'll select the crop button from the toolbar, but this time in the pop-up, let's change the ratio using the drop-down. There's a few different aspect ratios to choose from, as well as a custom option if you know exactly what resolution you want to type. I'm going to use the 1 to 1 option for a square aspect ratio, and then I'll just reposition it over the part of the video I want. Before you continue, you might want to make note of the resolution since you'll need it later to get rid of the black bars. Now, when I hit OK, it completes the crop, but leaves the black bars which I'm not the biggest fan of. To get rid of the bars, go up to File, Project Settings. In here, change the resolution to whatever it was in the crop settings, mine was 2160 by 2160. Then just hit OK to get rid of your black bars. One last thing to keep in mind is that when you export your video, be sure to choose the local MP4 option so it keeps your new resolution and aspect ratio intact. But yeah, that's all for me, so thanks for watching and see you next time.